hi everyone welcome back to my channel um so you probably have watched my previous video where i was talking about coming back and yes i look exactly the same because i can film two videos in a day and i have to change and everything so let's just get right into the video i don't want to ramble because i probably would so today i want to talk about the urban decay um ultraviolet naked palette is that what it's called yeah naked ultraviolet palette so this is what the outer package looks like maybe i'll do some close-ups um and i love purple like i'm just ugh. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So when I saw it was launched, I knew instantly that I was gonna get it. But then I looked at some of the shades and I just wasn't too sure, especially because I'm dark skin. And I was wondering, you know, a couple of colors I think might not work on me, but they're actually okay. So this is what the palette looks like. Um, and it's really well made, you know, all the other Naked palettes they've been making, I think from Naked Heat, I think they really improved the packaging it's really solid um with naked cherry i think honey as well and obviously with the ultraviolet palette so this is what you get it's very very pretty it's well made um and this is the outer packaging it tells you the eyeshadows inside and their names their names are also actually on the palette so i'm just going to open it and i hope i do not flush anyone so this is what it looks like don't worry i'll do close up so on looking at this palette i mean if you're someone who doesn't like color or even purple you probably would not want to um, go near this palette but it actually has really nice shades that even if you don't like purple there's some colors that work really well and the purple colors in here are not ones that that difficult to work with they're not they're actually quite easy to incorporate um, especially if you want to have like a slightly more colorful look so in here you also get a brush so this is kind of what it looks like the brushes are actually not bad um and this one's quite different because it looks slightly translucent but it is nice they actually work you can use this to blend eyeshadow and you can use this to define a couple of looks but i haven't used this today so in here you have um as i said so it runs from like normal warm colors and then there's this shade which these two shades actually i thought you know what are their names now so we have optimized and is that lucid yeah optimized and lucid i just thought these colors are not going to be great and then um the other purple colors onwards which are the actual you know really really good so anyway i would say in terms of um textures like they are really really pigmented um especially the purple shades i want to say the some of the lighter shades you're going to have to go a couple of times especially if you're darker skinned um like myself um and then the purple ones they're really good um the shimmer shades so we have one two three four you will get some fallout from there but it's nothing out of the ordinary because they're well pigmented even the fallouts are manageable they fall within the palette some of the matte um, eyeshadows so we have tripping mind sleep and hacks especially hack because that's what i used on my um what's it called my crease and there was a whole lot of fallout and i think i had to go in a couple of times just to build the intensity so i wouldn't say that it is a very pigmented shade that specific hack but it works really well with the purple shades in there but um obviously you can use any other kind of um, color but i feel like if you're very very dark um some of the there will be no crease color in here for you like that's just the simplest way to say it um i don't think there would be any proper crease color so you might have to dip into all the um eyeshadow palettes that you might have so overall i mean i've only used it like once or twice i do like it i wish i filmed this um look because i didn't but i can tell you the colors i used which is probably not going to be very helpful but hopefully i'll film another tutorial using this shade so basically i try to not use any other colors just to see if it's possible to actually create a look with just this palette so i went in with hacked um so i used that on the crease and i had to go in a couple of times for it to build up and i used trip in and mind sleep on the brow bone which is just up here and i went in they are really good and then i went in with um i just wanted to try what optimized was looking like so i used optimized and it was okay i shouldn't have used it but 
and then it kind of worked out because it helped the purple shade which I put on top um, kind of transition easily compared to if I just use only hack but yeah I mean optimized it's kind of on the I don't want to say chunky but it kind of is so I probably would use it with a purple one of the other purple shades but not mix it with hacked if that makes any sense and then on my lid i used cyberpunk which i knew was one i would run straight into it's a really nice purple color and it it's actually very very pigmented and then on top of that because i wanted to see how two of them would look i used warning and warning just looked <laughs> i love it absolutely i'm gonna try out did i try euphoric no i didn't and then i put a bit of digital at the end and that's what gives it that very slight smoky look so overall i would say it's a really great palette vr i'm really looking forward to trying as well as days because they're more of like a golden kind of color which i know would work really well with the kind of eyeshadows i look and with my complexion so yeah i don't know what else to say um it costs about 43 pounds um in dollars i'm not sure how much it is but probably around that range it's not cheap um, I always wait to purchase things when I have discount codes so I've got mine from Colts Beauty and I had like a 15% they just send you emails sometimes and that's how I get this palette so I got it for about £36 which in the grand scheme of things is not bad but it's not like it's not as terrible as having to pay £33 but yeah um, if I was <laughs> if push came to shove I would have still paid full price for it because it's Urban Decay and they're a brand that I really like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this very short video. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know below and I will actually look to film a tutorial. Um, I just need to work with my background and see the best way to do it just so you can see what the colours look like. Yeah, so thank you and hope I'll see you soon. So yeah, oh, I didn't say all what YouTubers used to say. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will leave all my links down below. So Twitter, Instagram, I usually post a lot on Instagram. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.